Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the great features of Publisher is that you have the freedom to move and rearrange all of the objects anywhere you want on a publication page. In this lesson you will learn how to move, resize, and rotate objects within publication pages. Before you do any of these activities, first click on the object you would like to manipulate to select it. You can tell when an object has been selected because it will appear with a solid border that contains small white circles and squares around its perimeter. These are resizing handles. You use these to resize the object if needed. It will also have a small circle on a perpendicular line at the top of the selected object. This is the rotation handle that will allow you to rotate the selected object. To move a selected object within the page, place your mouse pointer over the border of the selected object any place where there is not a resizing handle until you see a small four-pointed arrow appear at the end of your mouse pointer. When this occurs, click and drag the object to a new location within the page. When the object's over the desired location, release the mouse pointer to set its new position. Note that this moving technique is mainly used with text boxes or other text containing shapes. When moving pictures, you can usually hold your mouse pointer anywhere over the graphic to see the four-pointed arrow icon appear. You can then click and drag it to a new location. You cannot do this to move text containing shapes, as when you click into the middle of a text containing shape or text box, you place the insertion point into the text box to edit the text it contains. So you have to use the border to move text containing objects. You can also select an object in your page and then press the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge the selected object incrementally. You can resize selected objects by using the resizing handles that surround the perimeter of the selected object. To do this, move your mouse pointer over the resizing handle that corresponds to the direction in which you want to resize the object until you see your mouse pointer turn into a two-pointed arrow. Then click and drag in either direction indicated by the arrow to change the size of the selected object. As you click and drag, you will see a dashed border appear to indicate the new size that the object will be when you release the mouse button. Release the mouse button when you have achieved the desired size. Also note that when you are resizing objects, you can resize an object in all directions at once or proportionally by holding down the control key as you click and drag to resize the object. To rotate a selected object, place your mouse pointer over the small circle that appears at the top of the object until your mouse pointer turns into a circular arrow icon. When this occurs, click and drag left or right to rotate the selected object. As you click and drag, you will see a faded version of the selected object appear to show where the object will be located when you release the mouse button. You can also use the buttons and boxes contained on the Format tab of the Picture Tools Contextual tab or the Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab to resize and rotate your object. You can use the options that appear in the Arrange button group to adjust the placement and rotation of your object. You can use the boxes that appear in the Size button group to adjust the vertical and horizontal size of a selected object. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.